Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about the kind of weather update regarding the cold and snowy weather and the kind of future potential. And by the way, I'm a bit ill at the moment, so um, just an advance warning that I may cough or that kind of thing a few times through this video. Uh, but I'll start off with kind of just a quick look back at what's happened. Um, and the past week has actually been very exciting for uh, much of the UK regarding snow and cold. This is the NASA Worldview satellite, and you can see across much of southern England here, you can see a large area of white. And that white is not actually clouds, but rather it's snow. And you can see we have this area across parts of southwest England here, the Cotswolds, and then we have this very, very large region just in the north of London there. Um, and then we have also into parts of Kent, southern England as well. And you can really see the outline of the snow kind of bending around like that. Most of London, except just the west, um, got a proper dumping. I'm sure you've seen on my uh, YouTube channel, I've actually got 10 centimetres of snow, which is kind of the most significant since about 2013. Uh, so you can see a lot of snow there. We also have, I think this is some snow on the satellite there as well. Generally patchy snow across parts of the UK. And also I think it was quite snowy across Scotland as well. You can just about make out some of the snow on the mountains there. Uh, these kind of parts of eastern Scotland looks like that's some snow as well. If we look at uh, the WeatherQuest Twitter, they made this a really amazing kind of map showing the estimated snow depth from the 11th slash 12th of December snow event. Uh, and you can clearly see where that snow fell. We had uh, kind of one centimetre through much of kind of southeast England. And then we had this really quite large area of 10 centimetres kind of to the north of London, uh, up towards Cambridge. And I was kind of around here. So I was just on that boundary for 10 centimetres. Uh, proper dumping for me. I was really excited. Then also parts of Kent and the south coast down here as well uh, got 10 centimetres. Locally above 15, I think this is, looks like it's a 17 centimetres here. So locally some very significant snow. Temperatures have also been really low this week. This is my weather station. Uh, you can see the temperature on, uh, I think this is Thursday morning, uh, dropped as low as minus 6.3 degrees, which is really, really quite astounding for an urban area. This morning got to negative 5, uh, really quite low. Temperatures dropped now to, I think, negative 3 degrees. And you can see, if I just zoom out, the last few days have been properly cold. Uh, you can spot where that cold, the cold snap kind of came in. Those temperatures by the 1st of December, temperatures are kind of going down. Then by the 4th of December, first day where we get minus, sorry, we get five degrees as the maximum temperature. And then really hit by 7th of December, first day where we go sub zero. And then you can see just getting really cold from there. I had a couple of ice days. Uh, the 11th was an ice day. Uh, it looks like the 12th, no, that wasn't a nice day. You can see it stayed really cold, mainly below zero for much of the last kind of week or so. With some, I think it got to negative 13 in some places, uh, negative, I think, even 19 across parts of Scotland as well. Today we've seen quite heavy snow across parts of Scotland. Uh, we had this big band here. You can see uh, precipitation. That was kind of all turning to, or not all, but that was turning to snow, especially across this area in here. Uh, that place kind of got 10 centimetres quite widely, um, and then that kind of moved in, that was in the morning. You can see it kind of moved in, and now we have heavy showers filtering in from the west, some heavy snow showers there. Um, if we look at the radar here, this is what I was just showing you, but this is a precipitation type. You can see pink showing snow across high ground, those sleet and maybe rain for most. The Met Office warnings, <clears throat> we have yellow snow and ice warnings across parts of Scotland, ice through parts of Western England and Wales. Those are remaining for tomorrow as well, then this is just ice across parts of, parts of Scotland. <clears throat> then on Sunday, we have a warning for snow and ice uh, from 7 in the morning to 9 in the evening with the potential for 1 to 3 centimetres, uh, 5 to 10 centimetres across high ground and then 10 to 15 centimetres on high ground north of the central belt. So potentially snow for quite a large area. Freezing rain possible as well, um, quite disruptive this kind of thing, whether you get snow, ice, rain, and then you can see possibly further south or one to two centimetres, and then maybe three to five centimetres across Welsh mountains. Uh, so that leads us into the forecast for the next few days, uh, and so I'll show you the UKV Met Office model. Uh, you can see there's our period of heavy snow in pink, which is kind of just leaving Scotland. You get those constant snow showers coming in from the west, uh, accumulations across kind of parts of high ground of northern England, western Scotland, potentially turning to ice across western Wales, uh, western England. 
and then you can see what happens on Sunday. We get this big band of rain pushing in to the air, uh, to the kind of country. You can see there's a cold air uh, being pushed off to the north, and look at that mild air lurking in from behind. And you can see uh, what happens is that band pushes in. We get this pink colour showing up, which means turning to snow across higher ground. Then what you will also notice is that snow, those kind of pink colours disappear, and we end up with a rain. Uh, basically mild air for the first time in about a week and a half or two weeks across the UK. There's that cold air we've got now pushed out and then there's that mild air. So a pattern change is coming now. Uh, by Sunday it's very, very, very likely it's going to come. Um, so unfortunately all the snow cover, the mild, oh, sorry, the cold air, the chance of snow is going to be gone by Sunday. So enjoy it while it lasts. Um, and then after that it's going to be turning a lot more kind of unsettled. I'll use the European model here. You can see this by Sunday, mild air, full fetched kind of westerly, southwesterly across the UK. Uh, and you can see it's staying in a westerly pattern all of kind of next week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. And then, notice the north, we get potentially another sign of change. Uh, a northerly trying to make its way into parts of England. Uh, and you can see those pink showing uh, snow colours across the UK, uh, northern Scotland in particular. And that is actually kind of coinciding with Christmas time. You can see this is the 23rd of December. This coincides with the run up to Christmas, and so it kind of leads us into the question of what are the early uh, kind of chances for a white Christmas. So at this range, the kind of individual model runs are a bit too unreliable, they're changing all the time, it's kind of very low confidence. So what we kind of use to get a better idea is the kind of ensemble and the ensemble means in particular and you can see this is the ensemble mean from the GFS the, which is the American model and you can see we have a strong signal for low pressure uh, during this week very mild and unsettled and then what happens that low moves kind of to the east of the UK and then if you remember what I said the wind flows uh, uh, anti-clockwise around low pressure systems along the isobars so there's our low anti-clockwise like this you can imagine and we start to pull in some hints of a northerly by Friday uh, next week we get potentially another low moving in like that and then what we have we kind of have troughing uh, extending like this down the UK on this average and then what happens is that on the northern side we pull in cold air like so and potentially we bring I'll just move this get a blue color to show cold potentially we get cold air extending uh, like this um, across the UK by Christmas time with a cold northerly flow. So that's a possibility. And if I show you the uh, the temperature, this is temperature at 1.5 kilometres. You can see just what I was explaining there. We have that temperature of uh, kind of those blues and those dark blues showing where it could be conducive to snow. Cold air moving south as we get that low uh, kind of positioned in just the right uh, area. Uh, though it's worth noting, low, sorry, depends on, we have a low down here, the mild air is never too far away, potentially pushing up from the south, and that's why I think around Christmas we could have quite a strong north-south split, potentially Ireland, Northern Ireland, Scotland, Northern England, uh, Northern Wales and the Midlands could see potentially cold weather snow, the south could see cold weather snow, it could also see mild weather, and if I show you the temperature anomalies on the ensembles, um, just for an illustration, you can see potentially we could be seeing that cold. Uh, seems quite likely across the north as we run up to Christmas, though kind of uncertain across the south. Uh, and maybe we could get kind of a battleground scenario where we get a few kind of snow events. Uh, you can see potentially we would get precipitation moving in on the south, cold air on the north. And when that happens, we could see snowfall. Uh, especially across northern areas, and that's kind of illustrated well on this run when we get kind of lying snow in time for Christmas uh, and cold air pulled on the north. Um, so there's quite a lot of uncertainty uh, regarding what's going to happen. Uh, and if we look at the, this is the European kind of temperature anomalies, uh, I'll put the link in the description if you want to see. Um, you can see this is for the first, actually I'll just do it on here, you can see this is for the week starting on Monday and going till Boxing Day, and you can see there put to black, cut the pen, you can see there we have cold and average temperatures extending all the way into the Atlantic, especially northern uh, kind of Britain, UK and Ireland, uh, on that kind of half, and then potentially milder air trying to edge its way into the southeast. If we go to the next week, you can see, I'll clear that, the cold signal remains, especially across northern areas you can see there, 
uh, before, so that's um, kind of into New Year. So the potential is there for colder weather into New Year. And if I show you the the pressure, I'll get rid of this, it's kind of annoying. If I show you the pressure anomalies, you can see same kind of thing there. Looks like potentially continued Greenland blocking, uh, and you can imagine the winds kind of coming in like this. And then if we have kind of low, potentially bringing in northeasterly or an easterly, uh, kind of through this week, and then potentially if we clear that, potentially if that high kind of tries to extend a bit further east, we could be looking at maybe a easterly towards New Year's, but it's looking quite uncertain. And one thing I would say is that potentially around uh, around kind of the first the first my uh, cold, cold, kind of sorry cold risk across the UK. We'll get that back up here. For the first cold risk across the UK, you can see potentially uh, we get the uh, cold air pushed out just to the west of the UK, and the UK is not actually in the cold. Um, and then so potentially we do get that battleground scenario uh, with a north-south split around Christmas time, and that's also illustrated quite well if I show you ensemble uh, kind of charts. This is the the uh, GFS. Um, I'll put that to white to make it easier to see. It's for Edinburgh, uh, and you can see we have a strong agreement all the way up to around the 22nd, 23rd, here we know what's going to happen, it's going to be cold until Sunday, turning milder and then turning colder again, and then around Christmas, look what happens, we get the lines all the way up here, down here, that really high uncertainty, though notice the white line, which is the mean line, is staying below this negative 5 mark, and this negative 5 mark, I'll just get rid of that and draw again, this negative 5 mark is kind of what we look for for snow potential, and around kind of the 24th to the kind of 27th, we get more of those kind of um, ensembles in that cold box, and if I show you the ensemble model for new snow depth, you can see we get a really big spike actually around Christmas time. You can see, I'll get that white pen again, uh, we have quite a strong signal and the mean is picking that up, that around Christmas time we could potentially see some snowfall, uh, so that's worth watching. However, there is a large contrast if you go to London, I'll show you London here, and you can see I'll start off with the 850 HPA temperature. It's kind of looking a lot more mild in comparison because if I uh, let's get this, you can see we have good agreement, cold, turning mild on Sunday, turning briefly colder uh, around the 21st, 22nd. And then notice how it stays much more mild, this outlook, um, up to Christmas time. The Edinburgh one was um, staying kind of minus five around this time. Notice how few of those are in that kind of cold conducive minus five zone, only a few after Christmas. This kind of suggests we're going to have two uh, main kind of possible scenarios across the UK. So number one, I'll just get this up uh, to illustrate. Number one is, oh, I don't know what's happened there. Uh, so number one is we get high pressure across the UK. We get a kind of loads moving into the UK, bringing more air for a time across uh, south, southern southeastern England, uh, and then possibly cold on the northern edge around Christmas time. And then what happens in this scenario number one is that low uh, clears kind of to the east of the UK, and we get a cold northerly, basically a repeat of what we've had for the last two weeks. However, scenario number two would be that kind of we get low pressure system moving like this, but then they kind of just continue, continue, and what eventually happens is we get kind of cold air across Ireland, Northern Ireland, Scotland, Northern England, and then mild air across Wales and kind of Southern England, uh, with possibly snow on the Northern side. So, in summary, kind of, if I was in Northern England, Scotland kind of area, I'll be saying there's kind of a good chance of cold weather and potentially snowy weather around Christmas. And if I was in the South, I would say kind of 60% mild, 40% cold at the moment, though that's subject to change. So that's going to be the kind of the wrap up for this video. Thanks so much for watching and have a great day. Bye.